Hello and welcome, Cancers, to your August 18th full moon reading. I am so happy to be here with you. Sanam and Namaste. My name is Daron Kar, and I will be reading to you from the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg deck. So, This full moon night, let us invoke the energies of the moon, of the goddesses of the moon, Diana, Selena, Hecate, the Lakshmikara, goddess of milk, of women's intuitions, all over the planet, all of the divine goddesses, of the sun, feminine intuition and powers, the sea life, oh, we have a very excited card, very excited, couldn't wait, that's you, oh, intuitive cancer, and, well, continue, we evoke the powers of the moon goddess, Please send us messages with Cancer Sun this beautiful August 18th, 2016 full moon. Yes, yes, yes. Your abundance, your sweetness, our nurturing, intuitive. Okay, and our hidden meaning for this reading is the Four of Clubs. The Four of Clubs. So, that, that is our hidden secret for this reading. And this is a card of happiness of a couple and their home in the forest there. They are a delighted couple with one another, a young couple, with innocent hopes and dreams for the future. So right up your alley, and Syrians. Four of clubs, romance, society, harmony, newly acquired prosperity, tranquility, the fruits of labor, rest after strife. So that, that is in your background for this reading. That is a beautiful place to be at the start of Virgo. I get good feelings about Virgo and Cancer here. I received a message, which is you should take milk and uh, maple syrup or honey, either one, and mix them together. Uh, make sure that the milk is warmed up first, that you remove it from the heat and then mix this in. You should also include some uh, nutmeg um, or rosemary uh, as well. And this will make a wonderful, wonderful nourishing beverage for you cancers. Okay, where you're at right now is the Ace of Swords reversed. So, Swords usually represent intellectuality and the air signs, but this is in the reverse. So I think that you've been leading a lot from your heart, and that's what this energy of this reading is focused on in the beginning. In the reverse meaning, it means a debacle, tyranny and disaster, self-destruction, violent temper, embarrassment, obstacle, and infertility. So, 
I see you having truly difficult time right now um, maintaining your grace. Let's see what's crossing you. Why is that? Because we have the two of cups here. With the Two of Cups, we have love, friendship, beginning or renewed, passion, union, engagement, understanding, cooperation, partnership, and marriage. Um, however, uh, this is probably more of a troubled relationship right now for some of you. Uh, you may feel that you're misunderstood, that there is somehow um, a separation. You're thinking about um, why you are dissatisfied in this relationship somehow. What is on your mind? Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is on your mind. That's great abundance. Abundance is on your mind. You're seeing success and material attainment, advantage, well-being, abundance, good health, difficulty surmounted. So what seems to be the trouble? Well, um, Let's see if something in the short-term past can tell us. Oh, it's the Four of Coins. Someone has had miserly tendencies, either in love or in money. But usually this means money. Somebody's been profiting off of someone else's work. Love of material wealth, a hoarder, a new sir. Uh, somebody who makes money from lending, skin flint, and an inability to share. So, regardless of what's happening in your relationship, you may feel that there's a lack of physical affection, or that perhaps you don't want to leave this relationship because of money. You're concerned about the loss of money. It's on your mind a lot that you enjoy abundance. So, but in the short term, short term past, there's been that concern about the money. And it's led you where you are now, questioning things, questioning your loyalties that you have going on. So, in the distant past, we have reversed the Page of Cubs. Pages always um, mean young people, generally. Uh, not necessarily a child, but it could be your inner child, as well as a teenager. Uh, so, um, with the Page of Clubs reversed, you, in the distant past, you had an indecision. You were reluctant. You faced instability, a gossip, um, you perhaps had a poor reputation. Um, there was the bearer of bad tidings, a heartbreaker, and displeasure. So, mm, I would say that you were hoping to settle down. You really were, um, but unfortunately you received a message and that um, your love was not reciprocated. And now you face displeasure in that. Um, and you feel that you've been taken advantage of in the past monetarily. You would rather stick with the devil you know than the devil you do not know. Um, my goodness, so what is your your future hopes, wishes, and, and goals for this? 
king of coins you're right there so in this situation what you are hoping to attain and what will be happening in the near future is the king of coins which is an experienced and successful leader, a person of character and intelligence, business acumen, mathematical ability, a loyal friend, reliable marriage partner, wise investment, ability to acquire money, and valuable possessions. So, as a Cancer, you love to nurture others. You love to bring them into your space and just do for them. Just care for them. Be a good friend, be an uplifting source of inspiration to your friends. And um, this, this is coming into being in the near future. You probably are going to plan um, an event where you can really let your hair down, where you go and you're amongst friends, and this is rejuvenating you. Um, so. Uh, in the near future, we have you again, the questioner, and your present position or attitude within all these circumstances. It's the Ten of Coins reversed. And the Ten of Coins is the family card. This man has a very large family, and he's very well taken care of, but it's re in the reverse. So I would imagine that you're feeling somehow impoverished and lonely right now, really. You have um, a feeling of bad odds, possible loss, hazard, robbery, loss of inheritance, uh, dissipation, and gambling. So your main concern with all of this is actually should you take up that new job offer? Or for that matter, should you chance the relationship that's not so good for a relationship that's worlds apart and so much better? Um, this is definitely something like uh, you're concerned about leaving the person that you're with be or, or uh, the position that you're at or um, dropping, say, a lawsuit or pursuit of money because you're afraid that it will come back to bite you, that you will um, regret uh, having divorced that person because they take half or any of these sorts of things or having um, broken up with that person because they get the good apartment or, or <laughs> uh, you know, having to, to sacrifice something um, in order to uh, be true to yourself and, and hold steady and have that Nine of Cups abundance um, thing that you have visualized in your head and this Four of Clubs that is in your subconscious goals. So, um, right here, we have your environment. The Knight of Coins is your environment there. And your environmental factors, your, quest your influence on others, uh, others' influence on you, um, and tendencies and factors that might influence you in the near future. So a knight of coins is a mature and responsible person, reliable, methodical, patient, persistent, ability to conclude a task, laborious, organized. Um, you're sitting pretty you could not be perceived of as more friendly or helpful or a better person in the community. Your uh, public image is impeccable. 
um, and it's not about to suffer anytime soon. So um, this is this is where you're at. Uh, if you're having any sort of problem with your job or your relationship um, or with a friend, you're certainly keeping it under wraps. That's what I'm seeing. Uh, your environment is very stable and prosperous. Now your inner emotions, which is right above you. Oh, wow. It's the Ten of Swords right there. My goodness, which is not a great card for a Cancerian because you are the most emotive. You take things so personally, whether it's your sun, your rising, or your moon sign. Cancer is all about uh, the heart center. And this is the Ten of Swords. It is intellectual slaying of the ego, uh, the, the cutting off of the heads of the demons, as it were, in Vedic philosophies. So, Ten of Swords, self-sacrifice, I would say. And it is in your inner emotions, so it doesn't matter how good things are looking on the outside. Unfortunately, you're feeling really terrible. That's what this is saying. You're hurting emotionally. And it says, ruin, pain, affliction, anguish, desolation, misfortune, and disappointment. Wow. So, whether it was a job offer, or a deal that went south, or you ended up committed to the wrong person, or um, you put your whole heart into attaining a goal to, to having that beautiful fertility, uh, that abundance, and um, somehow you got hurt emotionally from it. but. This, this is, this too shall pass, is what I'm being told. What I'm being told is that this is the emotions. It is the heart, and the heart heals. The heart transforms. So, and, and everyone looks up to you. Everyone around you is, you have this knight of coins who is, the bearer of public image, of, of beautiful friendships. Turn to your friends right now. Your friendships will guide you through. There will be someone there to nurture you who perhaps you've nurtured in the past and now they they want you to come to them and, and so that they can return that favor. Um, they're, they're supposed to do that for you. That is part of your ebb and flow. And what I'm seeing, I'm smelling very sweet, sweet smells with that. So, um, let's see. So now, the final result, of course. Tenth card. We have the Three of Cups reversed. We have these three lovely ladies. And they have wreaths of flowers and cups, all that kind of thing. And they're all standing around. Let's see what they're doing, shall we? Three of Cups. Resolution of a problem. Conclusion. Solace. Healing. Satisfactory result, fulfillment, and compromise. You need to stop your excessive pleasures. This overabundance that you have is fine, but it's overabundance. There is superfluity in it. There is something you don't need that's around you. You think you need as much as you have, that you can't give up anything for your emotional well-being right now. You'd better just keep plotting that course. But you should meditate on your heart center. 
for this. It says... You may suffer a loss of prestige. However, if you delay, it's only a delay. You will have to wait during that delay. You will suffer a lack of appreciation during this delay. It's up to you when you call it quits. You have the power. I'm being told that this is correct. You have the power, the decision to move on when you decide you've had enough. You have this four of clubs. This is your birthright to have security, emotional well-being, and love in your presence. So, one way or another, this is coming to a close. As much as Cancer would like emotional stability above all else, and would like to maintain an environment of the Knight of Coins, this everybody thinks you're a wonderful person, you have a lot of friends, you have a lot of influence, you don't want to give that up. I understand. I do. But they are not seeing your inner self. And what I'm seeing is that whether it's your boss overlooking you on a promotion unfairly, and yet you've got a bunch of other opportunities. You've got a lot of other people who would love to employ you or work with you out there. Or whether it is you're trapped in dating the wrong person and you don't know if there's anybody better out there for you and you've been putting up with it no matter how it hurts because they think everything's fine, you think everything's fine, and really you can just you know, enjoy spending money together and eating out together and fine things so it doesn't sting as much. What you're reaching the conclusion of is your truth is your truth and you have to protect yourself sometimes, not just with your crab armor, not just um, through the usual means, but externally with your exoskeleton, but you need to protect yourself sometimes interior through your heart center, even if it costs you uh, something that you value. You need to know it is a temporary situation, that that is not necessarily continuous. It's not always going to be that way. You have this King of Coins here, which is another part of the outcome, which is abundance. You will, out of this experience, have more to give, more to put in next time than you would have otherwise then you would be able to have now. You signed up for this soul experience, and you have had a soul experience now. And now it is time to realize your limitations, realize their limitations, and move on. And how long that takes you to move on, that's up to you. So. I hope this has helped you find peace and happiness. I'd like you to meditate on the rainbow of this Four of Clubs, this beautiful Four of Clubs, this beautiful couple, and this, their beautiful home, because I believe that home, home 
is what you would really value and it's what you will really find at the end of this experience through that. You will have a new definition of your home. Okay. So, until next time, I'm Dunham Carr. Please write me if you would like a private reading. Or if you'd like to donate, you can do so through Patreon. Um, I accept PayPal. And you can email me anytime at dunhamcarr23 at gmail.com. It's been my pleasure to read for you today. Take care, Cancers, and Namaste, Sadhana. God bless.